Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about and balance forces and motion. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number 4. This lesson is under the Matatag For the objectives, by the end of the 80% of the learners will be able to first is to identify the examples of balance and unbalanced forces in everyday situations. The second one is to accurately measure and record the changes in the object's speed or direction of motion due to the unbalanced forces. The third one is to appreciate the rule of unbalanced forces in the natural world and how they impact the motion of objects by answering the reflection of For the developing and deepening of understanding, so let us know first the introduction to the Newton's law. So the first law, it is when an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon on a balance force. The second law is the acceleration of the object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it and inversely proportional to its mass. And for the third law, it is indicate that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Unbalanced forces, it is when the net force acting on an object is not zero. So the object will accelerate in the direction of the net force. Whereas the word acceleration, it is where the magnitude of the acceleration is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the object's mass. So unbalanced forces can cause an object to change its speed, direction, or both. So leading to changes in its motion. The following are the examples of unbalanced forces. So the first one is the gravity. So the force of gravity acting on an object such as falling object or a satellite in orbit. The second one is the force that opposes the relative motion between two surfaces in contact such as a car on the road. And the third one is applied force. So an external force applied to an object such as pushing a box or accelerating a car and the last one is the air resistance so the force that opposes the motion of an object through the air such as skydiver or a flying bird 
The following is on how to calculate the net force and acceleration. So, the relationship between the net force, mass, and acceleration is that net force is equal to the mass and the acceleration. So, a net force, it is the vector sum of all of the forces acting on an object which determines the object's acceleration. Balance forces, it is one the net force acting on an object is zero and the forces are said to be balanced and the object's motion does not change. Whereas the word and balance forces, it is when the net force acting on that object is not zero. So the forces are said to be unbalanced and the object will accelerate. So acceleration for the unbalanced forces, it causes an object to change its speed, direction, or both, leading to changes in its motion. Friction, it is the force that opposes the relative motion between two surfaces in contact, such as a car on the road. Whereas, air resistance, it is the force that opposes the motion of an object through the air, no? such as skydiver or a flying bird. For the opposing motion, so both friction and air resistance act as an unbalanced forces that oppose the motion of an object, causing it to slow down or to change the direction. The following are the applications of unbalanced forces. So the first one is the rocket propulsion. So the unbalanced forces created by the rocket engine thrust propel the rocket forward. Another one is the sports and athletics. So unbalanced forces such as force of the bat or the push off from the starting block enable athletes to accelerate and to change the direction. And another one is transport. So, unbalanced forces like the engine thrust or the friction between the tires and the road allows vehicle to accelerate, decelerate, and to change the direction.